Okay, and um, do are most of your clients elite sportsmen? Um, yes, I mean, um, recently, I would say the last six months, we've been branching out and taking on other industries, but certainly um, for the last two and a half years, where I've been um, advising and or, or, or joint venturing and, and partnering with professional sports athletes, um, that was that that's been my niche for the last like three years. And is it a purely a money thing, or do you think there's something in a the professional athlete's mindset that makes them good at property investment? Um, for me, I really got into wanting to help prof ex uh, professional football players because I realised that when I retired from professional football, um, the struggles and, and actually what people don't really tell you about after professional football, I, I went through that, um, that process and for, you know, for me it was a way of, of, of giving back to professional footballers, letting them know um, what happens after professional football and that really how to and spread my knowledge and help them how to get into the property market in a safe and secure manner. Yeah, you see, I'm getting that about you. For you, I don't think it's about the money, it's about the sharing the knowledge, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, I made a lot of money from property when I was very young, um, so much so that I was able to actually retire from professional football because I built up a, a, a multi-million pound property portfolio. So at this stage of my life and this stage of my career, really, it's really about, you know, helping other people um, do property, but just do it in the right manner so, you know, they don't lose money because you can lose money in property. Thank you.